and lay out uh, a few words. I am so honored to be here with all of you today, and thank you for coming out. I mean, we're out here today because, quite frankly, we have had enough of illegal guns in our community and on our streets. Yes. And let me tell you something right off the bat. You came to the right place because this gun store, far and away, leading the race in contributing crime guns to this community, to the District of Columbia and surrounding areas. There is no one who is even a close second. Realco is far and away the leader, leading contributor of crime guns. And let's put this in perspective for a minute because maybe some people are going to see us out here today and they're going to think we're against all gun dealers or all guns. The ATF tells us that 86% of gun dealers have zero guns traced to crime in the course of an average year. Let me repeat this, because this really puts this in perspective. 86% of gun dealers have zero guns traced to crime in the course of an average year. 1%, 1% of the gun dealers in this country contribute nearly 60% of all crime guns nationwide. Okay? 1%. That is a really small group. Now, if you're wondering today, hey, is there really something we can do about gun trafficking in this country? You bet there is. It's 1%. It's a group of about 1,000 dealers that are consistently allowing straw purchases, that are consistently selling guns off the books without background checks, and that's the group we need to go after. And that's why Reverend Jackson... And that's why Reverend Jackson got out in Chicago after some horrific shootings there mm -hmm. and got in the face of arguably the worst gun dealer in America yes. and said enough. Yes. And he did exactly what we're doing today and exactly what 20 other cities across this country are doing today and exactly what we're going to keep doing yes. till they stop selling guns to criminals and traffickers. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Now let's put this in perspective a little bit more. Not too long ago, you probably remember that there was some contaminated spinach in America. Some people ate some contaminated spinach and felt sick. And what did our president and Congress do? What did they do about that? They went directly to the source of that spinach and they pulled it off the shelves immediately. Yes, yes. There was no debate about were these people really harmed or were they responsible because they ate the spinach and they like spinach. They went to the shelves and they pulled the spinach off the shelves and no one else got hurt. Okay? We had contaminated dog food and they went out and pulled dog food off the shelves. But you're telling me when a gun dealer consistently sells guns to criminals and traffickers, we can't do anything because of the Second Amendment? you got to be kidding me. Why don't you ask some of these people over here how many of them are serving in a well-regulated militia? The answer is zero because they oppose all regulation of guns. And if you look at what the founders wrote in the Second Amendment, those militias, those militias were highly regulated. They could even come to your door and inspect your gun. They could demand to inspect your gun. Do you think these people would allow that today? They are bamboozling you by throwing up this Second Amendment nonsense. So I'm going to cut it short now, but I will tell you, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. We are going to be in their face till it stops. Because as soon as we get out of their face, they start selling guns to kids, criminals, and traffickers. So real go guns, get used to this. Get used to this picture. We'll be back. Yes.